As Thomas Jefferson said, he who knows best knows just how little he knows. And this has been one of the most surreal things about my experience as an entrepreneur is that the better I get at it, the more that I do, the more I feel lost, the more I feel like there's too much for me to possibly know and understand. And in that is my power. That's literally the source of my power because I understand that my journey is one of learning. I understand that as Naval Ravikant said, the genuine love for reading itself when cultivated is a superpower. The means of learning are abundant. It's the desire to learn that's scarce. But if you have that desire, if you cultivate that desire to learn, if you accept that you're in this big world that is far too big for you to understand every piece of it, but in recognizing that you don't understand it all and putting yourself on this quest to learn obsessively, to get better, to fall in love with the actual process of gaining knowledge, if you stay hungry for that at all times and you don't calcify your thoughts into dogma, but rather stay fresh, stay naive, stay hungry and foolish to really learn and grow, then you actually obtain power. And this is the part I want people to understand. Look past the words and hear what I'm really saying. As you take on the knowledge, as you're learning one thing after another after another, those skills have practical application. And it is that practical application born of understanding how little you really know that allows you to become far more powerful than the people that think they know. Because when they think they know, they stop growing. When they think they know, they calcify. When they think they know, their thoughts get brittle like bone and break. But when you think you know nothing, when you think you have to learn everything, when you're really just trying to figure out if something works, if it gets you the result, then those skills become real. They become tested by what you're doing. They are boundless because you're always trying to find that next thing. You're never self-satisfied. You're never self-congratulatory. You're simply asking, where do I want to go? What skills do I need to acquire to get there? And knowing that each one of those that you get, brick by brick by brick, builds a real path to where you want to go. So fall in love with the idea that you know nothing. Fall in love with the idea that learning is a superpower. Fall in love with that hunger. Want that, want to get better every day. Never, never be tricked by the desire to be self-satisfied. Never be tricked by the desire to be great today. Never fool yourself into thinking who you are today is who you can become. I don't care how far you've come. I don't care how many accomplishments are in your rearview mirror. If you fall prey to that, your past will always be bigger than your future. And there is one mandate that I make of myself and anyone else that wants to be around me. Your future must always be bigger than your past. And the only way for that to be true is to love how little you really know and to love how much you can learn if you just keep going.